Oh, I hope you guys are having a good morning and whatever you're watching, whenever you're watching this video. It's early. It is CC. Hello. Y'all know I'm just a regular girl trying to live a fit girl's lifestyle and we are off to the gym. So as you guys probably already saw in the title, we're gonna do a what I eat in a day today. And it's gonna be what I eat in a day on my workout days. So I work out, that would be most days. I work out five to, oh shoot, okay. The street be so crowded. I work out five to six days a week, it just depends on the week and so, on my workout days, I tend to eat a little more, I eat a little heavier, and that's just because I'm more hungry because I've expended more energy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do there. I have also just started eating a little bit differently on my workout days. And so instead of eating, I was eating three meals and like a snack or two, depending on how many calories I had left. I have now transitioned to only eating two meals and two snacks. So I just have two bigger meals versus three regular sized meals. And I know people say to eat four to five times a day. I've heard that as well. You know, you should eat four to five small meals a day. Look, I don't have time to be eating like that. I don't have time to be preparing foods and making four to five meals a day for me to eat. And with my work schedule and the way that I work out, it was even hard for me to get those three meals in so I was severely under my calories at the end of the day which was just leaving me more tired and I felt that and so I made some adjustments so if you're on a fitness wellness journey like I am I would definitely take stock of your body and how you're feeling and make adjustments where needed don't just do stuff because you heard it was good to eat four times a day, right? You heard it was good to have three meals a day. Yeah, that's really great if you're getting them in and if it's working for you, but if it's not working for you, pivot and make some adjustments. So that's what I did, like I said, so now I'm eating two bigger meals. So I'm gonna go work out and when I get back, probably maybe about 30 to 40 minutes after I get back, we are going to make our first meal of the day, which will be breakfast so let me go get this run in and I'll see you guys for breakfast hey guys what's up we are back home and I am all set and ready to work for the work day but it's time to eat breakfast I've been home for a while I showered did all that stuff and it's breakfast time so I'm gonna show you guys what we're making for breakfast today like I told you before it's gonna be a pretty hefty protein packed breakfast and I'm excited. So my first meal of the day is 11.21 a.m. and I have 40 minutes to make this meal and scarf it down. So that's what we are going to do. So let me tell you, I've been eating egg and bacon sandwiches a lot lately and I wanted to switch it up today. I think I showed you guys in my last video how I make my favorite breakfast, but I was gonna switch it up today and we're going to have I'm just gonna have eggs, bacon, and instead of toast, I'm gonna have some oatmeal to go with it. So that'll be that. And then I'm also going to do a protein shake. So we'll work through that. Help me up, but now I'm still in hell. 
But I don't want you waiting around for me I don't want you waiting too long It's not that I'm over you Not over girl But I got things to do It's too much to be your boyfriend Too much much easier if I only knew it when I used to be your best friend. You see me blowing up, come on. Don't act like I'm average. Cause you want me home. home. I get you what you want. Super but you want me alone. Baby, it held me up when I was down and out. But I don't want you waiting around for me. I don't want you waiting too long. I'm a star, look at me from afar Hard to be down to earth When you nesting on Mars You comment on how I move Too much space to assume But I'ma tell you the truth Shit, now When I'm gone and I'm wrong Run the globe for three months That's too long Without something that's sweet So I phone with the treats That's a snack, not a feast They don't mean much to me Cause I know that I have a bakery Back at home, am I wrong for Come on, don't act like I'm average You want me home all right, y'all, let's go ahead and log this food so we can see how many calories and protein I just ate. All right, so grand total for breakfast, let's go back. Grand total for breakfast was 797 calories. So like I said, it's a midday. My macros, if you guys wanna see how I got my macros, go back and check out my video so you guys can see how I got my macros. I'll link the video up here and it shows you guys all how to get that. But I am currently at 1,950 calories. So 797 calories for a two meal day isn't that bad. And then if I check and see how many protein grams for that breakfast, it was 79 grams of protein out of the one, wait, no, 67 grams of protein out of the 146 grams that I need. So I only need 79 more grams of protein. So I'll probably have a protein bar and some protein water, which will get me another 35. And then with whatever meat I eat for dinner, we're all done for the day with the protein. So that is like an example of just a large meal that I eat to make sure that I say stay she stay satiated throughout the day and it just it's been really really helping me and aiding me in my weight loss goals right so i love it all right i'm about to get some more work done and then i'll show you guys what i eat next. <sighs> hubby's in the kitchen cooking we're having some chicken for dinner some air fryer chicken chicken, thighs, chicken thighs chicken thighs i feel like chicken thighs have more flavor chicken thighs and chicken uh, we'll chicken drumsticks yeah. in the air fryer so super healthy and then he made us some mashed potatoes where are the veggies he's slacking on the veggies so he's slacking on the veggies but we do have chicken thighs and we have potatoes you know what i'll show you guys real life <laughs> real world meals sometimes look don't tell nobody but sometimes we don't have veggies with all our meals it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, okay? So that's why I try to get my veggies in as much as possible when it comes to my, like, green supplements I try to take. And then, of course, also in my eggs and my smoothies and stuff like that. Because sometimes that's just the way it goes. Um, we should have veggies with every meal, but we just don't always. I'm going to cook some broccoli, but it's but that's gonna be dinner. I'll show you guys when I get it all plated up. And this is my second meal of the day. I actually didn't have a snack today yet. So I still have some calories left for a nice snack, but I'm going to weigh out and plate up my chicken and my potatoes. I'm gonna have a piece of bread and then 
I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's about to be so good too, because I am starving. This is what we're having for dinner. I already weighed it out. So this is seven ounces of chicken. It's a mixture of chicken thighs and drumstick. I'll go with the highest um, calorie piece, whether it's the thigh or the drumstick, and that's what I'll use for my calorie count. So one drumstick, and then that was three ounces, and then four ounces of chicken thighs, some mashed potatoes, and a piece of French bread that I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. That's what we're gonna have for dinner. And since it's only like a little after five o'clock, we're probably gonna have a snack later, but this is where we are right now. What's up, y'all? So I just finished that delicious dinner and I'm headed to get my kids, but I'm sorry y'all, they don't, they never put the seat back. We have a third row SUV. They never put the seat back and so it just flails along until somebody pushes it back. But um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys. I just ate my dinner and it was so good. And I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about food, right? So when you watch these videos on my channel, these what I eat in the days, sometimes you're gonna get really well-balanced, healthy, meals right because sometimes that's how I eat but sometimes you're gonna get what we did today which was some chicken thighs and some potatoes I eat potatoes I eat lots of potatoes because I love potatoes and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you eat them in moderation I also want to point out that the meals you're gonna see from me are also going to be easy meals and they're gonna be meals that can feed your entire family look if it's not easy it's not going to work at least for me in my life i am a mom of four for those of you who don't know so everything i cook for dinner for the most part my entire family is going to eat it my husband my kids and if they can't eat all of that i'm not making separate meals so i need to find a good balance of tasty and healthy meals that will aid in my weight loss goals but my family can still eat love and enjoy right so Easy meals are always amazing for me. I use the hell out of my air fryer. And again, every meal isn't gonna be super balanced, right? So that is why when we talk about counting calories, if you're on a journey where counting calories is what you're doing, <clears throat> try to balance them out by the week and not by the day. So there may be some days where I go 100, 200 calories over my calorie counts and then there may be other days where I go 100, 200 under my calorie count. As long as everything balances out at the end of the week, that's how I know that's how I know where I'm ending up, right? So, your weight is going to fluctuate throughout the day. Whether you eat a bunch of something or a bunch of nothing, your weight is it's going to fluctuate throughout the day, right? So, I'm I'm super heavy at night. And in the morning when I wake up after I sleep, I'm probably the lightest, right? Or right after my workout, something like that. So your weight's gonna fluctuate no matter what you do throughout the day. So continually weighing yourself throughout the day isn't gonna help. It's that weekly overall, that weekly, that monthly, that bi-weekly even, overall weight progression that you see over yourself. That's how you know if you're really, really making progress in the right direction. When we get back home, we'll put that meal into my fitness pal and see how many calories we have left for the night because I'm craving something sweet. I might just have a protein bar, but I don't know. I'm craving something sweet, so we'll see um, what I actually have left. And of course, I am drinking my water. You guys, I drink lots and lots and lots of water all day. And so right now, I have my water in here. I try to drink two of these. This is 40 ounces. I try to drink two of these every single day. And normally I'm pretty good about it, but this, you know, this helps keep me full and keep me satiated as well. When you're drinking a lot of water, and my protein water also gives me an extra 20 grams of protein for the day too, when I'm, I'm low. So just wanted to throw that in there. I will talk to you guys when we get home. So here I am just entering my dinner. We had those mashed potatoes, the chicken thighs, and also some ciabatta bread 
from Trader Joe's. So when I put that in, as you can see, um, it was definitely also a high calorie dinner. The same with my breakfast. And we ended up with 334 calories left for the day. So you guys will see it right here. Before I have my something sweet, I end up with 334 calories. Then, like I told y'all, I was craving something. So I ended up going and finding some frozen yogurt that we already had in our freezer. And that pretty much maxed me out for the day in calories. Now I didn't hit my protein goal, which I'll talk about in a second. But again, this maxed me out for the day in calories and I was able to get all my meals. I was not hungry and still have a little dessert afterwards. Hey guys, fun fact, it's the next day. So <laughs> um, I just wanted to come in here and close out this video. Last night, um, I did end up having frozen yogurt for my snack, which was about 300 calories. And it took me to like meeting all of my calories. I did not hit all of my macros. So excuse me, my proteins, carbs, and fats. I did not hit all of those, but let me tell you where I ended up for the day. So I had 34 calories left. I ended up eating 1,916 calories for the day. And for my protein goals, I hit 113 grams of protein out of 146. I could have hit all of them if I'd have had my protein water um, and all of that. I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it, so I didn't. <laughs> um, but I hit 113 out of 146. So my rule of thumb is as long as I hit 100 grams of protein per day, look, that's about all I got in me, okay? No, I do try to hit my 146, but... I consider it a good day if I had 100 grams of protein, um, 100 plus grams of protein, and I hit 113 grams. So we'll try for 146 today, but it is what it is. For my carbs, I went over on my carbs. I had 210 grams of carbs out of the 171 grams I was supposed to have. Pretty sure that happened with the frozen yogurt. Um, and then for my fats, I was under in my fats. Um, I had 76 grams of fats to hit and I hit only hit 62. So over in my carbs, under my fat, under my protein and right under in my calories with 34 calories left from yesterday. So not too bad of a day, probably a typical day for me to be honest. I would say probably twice a week I hit the 146 grams of protein and that is just because it is very hard to hit that much protein. I don't care what anybody says. Um, if you guys want to see like some of my high, high, like some more of my high protein meals, like when I do hit my protein goals, how exactly I hit those, let me know down below and I can do a video showing you guys like just me in a high protein, hyper focused day and we'll do that video next. But that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day. I can do more of these if you guys like, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not, it really helps my channel out and I think that's it. You guys, we're almost at the end of our 65 days to summer challenge and I cannot wait to show you my results. I can't wait to show myself my results, okay? So we're almost there. Keep it going. I believe in you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. It's only you. I want it done with what you got.